Let me get these bars off real quick, man. Get your bars off podcast coming soon, man. So, let's talk this Nikki versus... Uh, 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 it's battle rap for breakfast. You know what I'm saying? It's not quite battle rap, but it is a rap battle. And, I, you know, it's my goal to always connect the two, hip-hop and battle rap. Because y'all still be acting like battle rap is like this guilty pleasure for y'all. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? It's me. The culture consigliere. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the culture. And this is what's moving the culture right now. Move the culture Mondays. Check for that. And um, I'm your I'm your I'm your girl, Bullshit Rain. So let me bridge the gap real quick. So looking online, trying to figure out where this all started. Because in Meg's verse that she dropped, um, she's saying like as usual with Nikki, she don't know where it started. Really, you know what I'm saying? But um, the bottom line is, I always say as a rapper, you're supposed to address address the shit in your raps and that's what she did you know what i'm saying so um she dropped that hiss diss record and i like i like the cover very creative you know what i'm saying and i like to play on this hiss you know hiss is the the sound a snake a snake makes when they're protecting themselves and you know what i'm saying like we get we getting all into it you feel me um so the thing about it is so Nikki quickly responded with three bars, you know what I'm saying? Three light bars that was funny, you know what I'm saying? The whole uh, bad bitch I call her Bigfoot. She like six foot. Bitch fell off. I told her, get up on that good foot. And you know what I'm saying? The bar purists were like, oh, that's trash. But most of us liked it. And honestly, the three bars, because she is the queen. We're not going to act like Nikki is not the undisputed queen of rap. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. You know what I mean? If Jay is the undisputed king of rap, she's the undisputed queen. The most consistency, the longest reign. And she spit bars. You feel me? So to me, it was it was light, but it was playful. And it, it, it did the job. And I've seen why she did it. Playing chess, it was a way to kind of like just take the air out of the Hiss record. Because the bar of the battle, though... Which really think I think got Nikki under in her feels is the opening line. Y'all y'all really downplaying Meg's um this. That Megan that Megan's lower bar is fire, actually. That's the bar of the battle. So that, you know, you like bitches worry about bitches worry about Megan, y'all should worry about Megan's lower. And we all know the situation, you know what I'm saying, with Nikki, her hubby what's going on with that so that really was the bar of the battle a lot of y'all be like hit or miss with megan's flow but to me i like her flow um nikki then went on to clown her flow saying how she don't really be on beat this that and the third still keeping it rap see i have no issue when you keep it rap but last night middle of the night whatever it was nikki got twitter fingers and started going ham and i'm like what provoked this and then Doing my due diligence and shout out to my good supporters and followers put me on that um, Meg did a Breakfast Club interview. So something she said in that interview triggered the queen and the queen went ham. Now, when you're first reading it, just hearing her mention her dead mom, to me, is like, it's just out of line. I'm hearing the mention. So it's kind of an overreaction. You know, like I always tell y'all, how you kill um, fake outrage is due diligence. So when you really reread it, she's saying the fact that Meg lied on her mom when she did the Gail, the Gail King um, interview by saying that she didn't sleep with Tori. She's saying that you violated, you violated your mom, basically. But even mentioning it. So to me, if we keeping it really real, sidebar, 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 sidebar. Um, if we keeping it really real, um, I think Meg could fight. So if Meg felt froggy and they happened to see each other, Nikki need, need to be ready because you like poking at chicks that really be about that. As a Houston chick, I think she about that. But we are gonna keep it wax, and I feel like Megan is doing her part to keep it wax. So Nikki, the Twitter finger shit you did last night with no response, you went ham last night on Twitter, and I I don't know if I'm jacking that. I don't know if I'm jacking that, Nikki. You know what I'm saying? Keep it rap. Drop the rap. Drop the diss record. Respond. Like, come on. You really of the cloth. You really of the, you really of that cloth, Nikki. So, but that said, do the right thing and drop the diss. Sorry about that. 
do the right thing and drop the disc. It's only right. But this Twitter finger shit, that ain't it. Because that could lead to other things. Even though it's women. Because, you know, you know, we're not going to bring up the past and shit. But I'm with you. I was with you with the light bars. I was with you even antagonizing her flow. That's all keeping it wrapped. I'm not with the Twitter finger shit. Because I don't think Megan responded. That's my rain rant. Get your bars, get your bars off podcast coming soon. Move the culture Monday every Monday. Battle talk Tuesday every Tuesday. And technically this was battle rap for breakfast. And I'm out. Cheer.